What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. We help players improve. Subscribe to our free OSA e-newsletter to receive training videos, player spotlights, motivational quotes, and more delivered to your email on Tuesdays. Today, we're learning how to play the forward position. Forwards should score goals, but the great ones do so much more. They defend, hold the ball up, bring their teammates into the game, and make runs to open up space for others, and much more. You don't have to be tall, fast, and strong to be a great forward. Yes, those things help, but they don't guarantee success as a forward. The best forwards are the smartest, not necessarily the biggest. A good forward mantra could be, I score goals and make selfless plays to help my teammates. This OSA video is sponsored by Believe In It Apparel. Believe In It is apparel for motivated people. All sports, all ages. Shop at BelieveInItApparel.com and be a Believe In It athlete. There are many different parts to playing forward. This video will cover a few general ideas on the position, things to think about, and an exercise to practice. Tip number one, run east and west, not just north and south. Most forwards just run up and down the field, which is north and south. The great players run east and west across the field when it's on. For example, your center mid is dribbling up the field. Instead of just running north and letting the defender stay with you easily, run east, then cut hard west across the field. Hopefully your center mid will see this and make a great pass. Tip number two, defend from the top. Coaches and players hate when forwards don't defend up top. You need to be on world-class attacking status to not defend up top these days. Chase down balls when it's on. Try to force the defenders to not pass around the back and keep them on one side when you can. When your teammates see you leading by example and defending hard, they will defend hard too. Tip number three, hold the ball up to bring your teammates into the game. Typically, this is what most forwards do. They receive a pass, turn forward, and just start dribbling at the back line. It's them versus four defenders plus a goalie. Their midfield is 30 yards behind them because they're tired because they've been defending their behinds off and they can't get up the field fast enough. Watch this OSA video on why you should stand sideways to receive a pass as a forward. Great forwards recognize what is going on around them. Sometimes it's best to hold the ball up for a few seconds and shield the defender. This allows your midfield to catch up to you. Then you can lay off a pass and make a run. Tip number four, be confident. You will miss more shots than you make. But you need to have the mindset that every time you shoot, you believe 100% that you will score. Do not be surprised when you score. You should expect to score. Watch our mental training videos here. They will be huge for you. Yes, you won't score every shot, but you need to believe that you will. It's not cocky, it's a quiet confidence. Tip number five, score great goals and score simple goals. The stat sheet doesn't record what type of goal you score, just that you score. Yes, take that 20 yard power shot when it's on, but also when it's on to just pass it in, no, to pass it in. Don't try to shoot for power and then be mad when it flies over the bar and you're six yards out, just pass it in. Tip number six, make runs to free up space for others. Even if you know you won't get the ball, sometimes you need to make a run to open up space for your teammate. In this example, you run to the back post so your defender will follow you. This frees up space for your other forward to run into. Tip number seven, do what the game shows you. This means you need to be smart and know what to do with the ball before you get it. You do this by checking your shoulders before receiving a pass. Work on speed of play regularly by watching these OSA videos. Robbie Keane of the LA Galaxy is a perfect example. He makes it look easy by doing what the game shows him. I want you to watch this video I'm about to link to. In it, he scores a great chip shot goal. In the play, you will see him check his shoulder before receiving the pass from his midfielder. He saw he had space, so he turned. He then nutmegs the defender because they opened their legs. He didn't force the nutmeg. Then he looks up and sees the goalie out and chips him. If the goalie wasn't out, he would have chose a different option, I'm sure, because Robbie Keane does what the game shows him. Watch the play here and then come back to this video. Tip number eight, you only need one to two steps to make a play. Once you beat your defender, get a shot off. 
You don't need five to six steps of space to make a play. The best forwards only need a step. An exercise we can do to practice. We're going to work on holding the ball up and bringing your teammates into the game. You will need a partner, a few balls, and four cones. Your partner will have all the balls about 30 yards away from you. They pass to you. You receive it by standing sideways. Pretend a defender is tight on you. Shield them off and hold it up a few seconds. Imagine your teammates are running forward to join the attack and you need to wait for them. Then, after a few seconds, make a pass to one of the cones you set up. Pass out wide, pass back, or to the side. Don't forget to check your shoulder before receiving the pass. Do a few sets, then switch. In the first few sets, keep the passes on the ground. After you feel more comfortable, make it more challenging for the forward by chipping them the ball or passing a bouncy pass. This way, it's a little more game-like. Some things that could be going wrong. If you keep turning into defenders, then you don't know what is going on around you. I can't say it enough. Work on speed of play regularly by watching these OSA videos. If you are scared to shoot because you don't want to miss, that's the wrong attitude. I know it's hard, and I know some coaches might yell at you if you miss. They shouldn't, but they do. Try to ignore that and be confident. We all miss, even top pros. Be confident and believe that every time you shoot, you're going to score. Of course, try to make sure your shots are high percentage shots when you take them. For example, don't be at the corner flag with no angle and try to take a shot. That's a low percentage shot and one that your coach has every right to question why you took it. Bonus tip, celebrate goals when your team is leading. Get your teammates involved. Do a little dance, something fun. The game is supposed to be fun, so celebrate when you score. If your team is trailing, and you score, do not celebrate like crazy. Be a top pro, get the ball out of the back of the net, and run back to your half of the field so you can hurry up and try to score another one and make a comeback. This is what great leaders do. Yes, give the fans a fist pump on your run back. Just don't celebrate and do some crazy song and dance or point at the name on the back of your shirt and waste precious time when you're trailing 3-1. That's not cool. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like and share this video with a friend who you think should see it. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. You can also sign up for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. We help players improve. Our free weekly OSAE newsletter comes out every Tuesday featuring training videos, motivational quotes, player spotlights, and much more. If you want a Believe in It shirt, please shop at BelieveInItApparel.com. You'll love our soft and comfy shirts. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!